Uh, good morning. Today is the 11th, I think it is, of January of 19, um, 2016. And I'm here with a young lady. Tell us your name, baby. Evelyn Holman. Evelyn. And what is your story, darling? Well, first off, I'm, I'm a resident of Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And September 2013, mm -hmm. I found out prior to that that I had an 11 millimeter cerebral aneurysm mm -hmm. and due to the shape and the size it needed to be clipped and not coiled mm -hmm. so i left michigan i went to pennsylvania i found me a surgeon my family's in pennsylvania mm -hmm. set up a date for surgery mm -hmm. i found me an aftercare place to go to mm -hmm. everything was set a month before my surgery they operated on me september the 17th they discharged me to a homeless shelter September the 22nd. Mm. They quilled me and they didn't clip me. I don't have, I don't know why. Um, they just put me out in the street. They just discharged me to the homeless shelter. They check in at 4 o'clock in the evening and check out at 8 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, you want to call the doctor's names? Well, the, the doctor that did the surgery at the University of Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Hospital, Ms. Michelle Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, Wayne State University actually found the aneurysm. Dr. Uh, Sandra Narana, she was the first one. She told me it needed to be clipped and not coiled on the Pennsylvania. I, I, I ran into Michelle Smith. She agreed with it. All right, so what is the difference between just being clipped and quilled? A clip and a coil, it's a, the way that the aneurysm is set. Uh-huh. Okay, it's a bubble. Uh huh. Cut the bubble off. I mean, just the way out. I'm not a new uh -huh. just, I had an ear infection. Took a CAT scan. Found out about it. Okay. But you cut the bubble off. Okay. You put a pipeline in there. A stent. It, okay. Okay. And it helps the blood flow. Flow. I was supposed to have been on uh, Plavix and uh -huh. aspirin 81. Uh -huh. They just put me out the hospital with nothing. I don't, I don't have a clue. And so are you still getting the medication now? I haven't been under no medical nothing since they did it. I had migraine headaches. I so had, how long have you been here in Richmond? I'm going to get here in Richmond New Year's Eve. Or uh, this year? Right. Have you been to see anybody? Yes. Let me back up a little bit. I took a... went back to Pennsylvania in March last year, 15, for my six-month checkup. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I could have got some answers. Mm -hmm. They gave me a slip to go get a brain MRI. I had mm -hmm. a filmed. I did that at uh, Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital. Mm -hmm. All I had was radiology, but I still needed a new neurosurgeon mm -hmm. trying to explain mm -hmm. like, where I'm at my life. You have to tell me like what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Went back to Detroit to the same neurosurgeon, Dr. Rhino, that found the aneurysm. They just went back in me November 15, found out that I had clips hanging that needed to be cut. That's why I'm here in Richmond now, okay? I contacted the new surgery department over at VCU. I'm waiting for them to get back in touch with me for an appointment. And they have to go in and cut the clips. I don't exactly know like, what all this stuff means. Baby girl. I'm patient. So after I come through all of that, I can kind of settle down. And then and I get can yourself my life together. back in order. Well, I tell you, I say, welcome to Richmond. This is one dangerous place. But I used you to be a do VCU here. and MCV. I don't do them dangerous games. They done killed too many people I know. So, anyway, we wish you the best of luck, the best of blessings, because that's what you're going to need here in this city blessings. So, the doctors that clipped you wrong, say their names again Dr. Michelle Smith. University of Pennsylvania Hospital. Philadelphia. All right, she got some coming to her when she see this video email to her. All right, thank you, baby, because you can be able to file some lawsuits behind that. Now they want to go in your brain again. Well, let me give you a little thing there. In July of 14, mm -hmm. because I had an ear infection, mm -hmm. December 13, mm -hmm. I went to DMC, Detroit Medical Center. Mm -hmm. After they cleaned my ear out, they mm -hmm. took a CAT scan, they found the aneurysms. Mm -hmm. I didn't pay no mind, like, mm -hmm. aneurysm. I figured they would go away with the ear infection. No. I didn't know. I didn't know, mm -hmm. okay? 
So I went home in June. I had a uh, swollen glands. Mm -hmm. Of course, you take a CAT scan, mm -hmm. and the aneurysms were still there. That's mm -hmm. so when they would go back home. I got the comparison of the numbers and different things like mm -hmm. that. They went in in July mm -hmm. to actually take a look to see mm -hmm. what things look like. Mm -hmm. I had surgery in September mm -hmm. because I didn't know what just happened to me. I went back to Detroit. They went back at me again in October. They didn't understand what the University of Pennsylvania did. Mm -hmm. They just went in me again in November. Woo! Okay, so now my next time down, they'll be corrected. All right, what was that, a, a, a bee? Oh, I don't oh know. I'm allergic to bees things. But that's what it was laying directly on your head. You must look like a flower girl. <laughs> so but anyway. All this I've been through all of this. Yes. So, where are you staying? At the uh, emergency shelter. The overflow? Yes, ma'am. Well, you make sure you get there early tonight. Yes, ma'am. No liquor or anything on your breath because they're turning people out that are drinking and drugging, and I don't blame them. But when you're not drinking and drugging and you're working and you come in after nine o'clock those people should be allowed in there they have killed too many people now only the fools gonna drink and drug in 20 degree weather because they think that at liquor is like antifreeze but it is not it actually do the opposite to your body so i want to thank you for this interview i'm gonna put it online darling and wish you many blessings and if anything that i can do for you. I don't have much myself because they've been taking it all away. I'm Teddy Palm, community activist. I'm here for you. And um, anything I can help you with, you let me know. Anything except some money. I got plenty of brain power, but they done stole all my money. So I love you, girl. Keep smiling and peace be with you in love and strength.